Welcome back to Pajama Sam 2, everybody. So, on the last episode, we made a lot of prank phone calls, and we discovered Thunder and Lightning here, who were in charge of making the weather, and we screwed everything up by pushing a giant button that is right in the center of everything that just shouldn't even exist in the first place. So, we have the task... Uh, yeah, the, these... The leaders of the weather company have entrusted the most important task of bringing everything back to normal to a little kid who is neither an employee nor is even familiar with this company, and is not even on the payroll. Yep, that makes sense. And if you look down here... Hey, a puzzle piece. I should pick those up. So this is the main collectible of the Pajama Sam 2. Whereas in uh, Pajama Sam 1, no need to hide when it's dark outside, you collected socks, and this you collect puzzle pieces, and put the puzzle back together. And this is like the main theme of the game, I feel like. Hey, is that a donut? Yes, it's a donut. No, you can't have it. Also, Thunder is a woman, believe it or not. Is someone gonna eat that donut? Yes. Can I please have the donut? No. <laughs> Alright, fine. How's the weather? It's raining frogs in Frankfurt. How's the weather? There's a pink hurricane in the Sahara Desert. How's the weather? The thunder is squeaky in Peoria. How's the weather? There are sandstorms in Siberia. How's the weather? The tornadoes are sideways in Toronto. How's the weather? It's hailing taxi cabs in Texas. How's the weather? The snow is falling up in the Ukraine. What? How's the weather? The Black Sea is turning orange. What? Hey, that one looks sunny. I know. Unfortunately, that's Seattle. No, oh, what a mess. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I never get tired of that. That's the theme song for the Backyard Sports games. We'll be playing those later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Reuse sound effects. That's the sound effect that the Anteater makes when uh, he eats a cactus in Anteater Feeder from Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Let's explore the jungle. Yeah, I have no life. <laughs> Come on. Catchy Balloonorama music. All right, let's explore. Welcome to the Weather Machines. Look at all that! I didn't know making weather was so complicated. Oh man, I love this music, and I love the weather machines. There's another one! Another puzzle piece! Bloop! And Sam is just adventuring in style in this game. He's like, riding the rails. Not, not like they did in the Great Depression, but like, you know. Another puzzle piece! There's one! Puzzle pieces are pretty easy to find, unlike the socks. That's, that's liquid sunshine being put in cans. Liquid sunshine. That's a fan. Uh-oh, the light bulb's been imprisoned. Whatever will we do? That, 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 that. I can't slide upwards. You can't? Well, I mean, you could walk up the slide. It's not always easy to do, but it's possible. Here's another one. That one's fairly well hidden. Uh-oh. Someone doesn't like salad. I need to shake their hand. That looks like some kind of solar collector. It looks like there should be something holding these together. Yep, this is where the wind nut goes when we eventually find him. Oh, hey. Hey, dude. Hey. The classic humongous entertainment burp sound effect. I didn't want to go down the slide. Yeah, you can take the slide and it's a shortcut down, but I mean, if you use the escape key, it's not a big deal. It says UV filter. What it says UV filter. Whatever that means. I actually don't know myself, Sam. <laughs> Probably just as well, I because I needed to click on stuff up there. Dane Sam! 
sliding down the ladder like a champ. Alright, if we go for this tube, then we get quite a few options, actually, for places to go. So let's go into the snow area. It looks pretty cool! Yeah, I know, it was too obvious. I'll try better in the future. <laughs> Good work, mate. Proud of you. <laughs> Alright, that amused me more than it probably should have. Oh boy, oh boy. First off, another puzzle piece. Second off, look who it is. Hey, aren't you the same carrot that... Shh, not so loud, Sam. I'm... Undercover. What are you doing outside of the... The land of darkness. I've infiltrated the weather company here in order to expose the egregious exploitation of their workers. What? It's all about economics. I just finished a degree in econ at the University of Cauliflower at Broccoli. It was really an eye-opener. Well, it's nice to see you again. Yeah. Don't go taking any nickels with strings attached, you hear me? Yes. Yeah, it's the, literally the same carrot. One of the only characters that reappears from the first game. But he was a pretty cool character, so I am a fan. I think Snowflake should always be this <laughs> I agree. Hey, who's this guy? Uh, I'm Pajama Sam. How do you do? I'm Jay Langston III. You may call me Langston. Okay, Langston. You can call me Sam. Very well. Listen, do you think I look better with the hat tilted like this? Or like this? I just can't decide. Gee, I don't know. Why not have it in between? Ooh. Dead center? Ooh, I like that. Daringly traditional. Excellent advice. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, he seems friendly, even though he has a frown on his face. What's up, man? Do you know what my main problem is? Icicles? My nose isn't properly integrated with my outfit. The clothes don't match the nose, or vice versa. Your problem is you've got to get a little perspective, Chili. <laughs> Think about the big picture for once in your life. Aww. If only it matched the tie, it would be perfect. Oh, so he wants his nose to match his tie. We better remember that. So, it appears snowflakes are made giant, and then they shrink them down one by one. Okay. That's interesting. And if we go through here, we're back at the sun machine. Psh. Let's make them bigger instead of smaller. So that'll put everything in reverse, actually. We don't really have to do anything with the grower or shrinker around there. It's all for the other path. No, no, I didn't. Actually, you know what? I'll show off, because this ladder just leads down. That's also a ladder I don't think you can climb up. Oh, you can climb up it. That's right. Alright, let's go into my favorite room in the game. Well, maybe one of my favorite rooms. So first off, puzzle piece. There's one. So here, this is the greenhouse where they grow a bunch of crops. Mmm, pie. All right, a bag of dirt. <laughs> I know I can find something to do with this. Oh yes, you can, Sam. So, what we have here is a nice little crop machine. Or rather, we can combine different types of weather to make different things. So, for example, to make an apple, we're going to need four suns and four rains, as well as an apple seed. The machine is out of those seeds. But, as you can see, we don't have apple seeds. We could also make a banana, a cucumber, or an eggplant. I'm more interested in making a rainbow, though. Thank <laughs> you. 
artificial weather. <laughs> oh, what's this? They'll be after me gold. <laughs> Well, well, we get two coins out of it. That'll be helpful. Oh boy, I'm rich! <laughs> you can only get those two coins. If you make another rainbow, the guy will run off without dropping anything. So, enjoy your one-time coins. We can also make snow, which requires rain, plus three things of ice. Well, that was a colossal disappointment. Ooh, yeah, let's make a tornado. We need one sun and a lot of wind. Let her rip! <laughs> There's Mrs. Gulch. Nice Wizard, Wizard of Oz reference. Oh, man, we can make a hurricane. Yes, please. I've noticed wind never really brings anything good. At least out of the recipes. Still don't know who that guy is or what he's saying. Also, that might have been a typhoon, a monsoon, or, like, a tsunami as opposed to a hurricane. I don't know. But that's all we can really do there for now. Oh, look! Another one! Almost missed that one. Oh, uh, hey, it's the carrot. Also, I might have missed one in here. No, I did not. There's a really well-hidden one in there sometimes. Let's enter the wind machine! Oh, man. Wind machine is pretty hey, cool. I found one. And we have already completed like half the puzzle. That's amazing. So we could try going this way. Through all the clouds. Boy, I can't see a thing over here. Well, since there are no railings on the pathways, that's very smart to not go that way. Let's try going up here. Wind is too strong. However, here's something cool. We can actually control the wind machine in this. So, for example, if we push the red button... Wind is gone. <laughs> nice chicken statue on top of this. Another one! <laughs> Carrot apparently does not like salad, which I totally understand. It looks like there's a piece missing here. So this is where the little piece for the wind machine goes, because this is out of power. There's also nothing we can really do around here until we get it back. Or at least until we unlock more parts to the wind machine. So this is the core of the rain machine. As you can see, there's hydrogen and oxygen. We need the Y pipe back so we can siphon them both into water. I definitely think there's a piece missing here. Yeah, you know it. And hey, hey, who could hey, it be? Hey, 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 you! Over here, in the back! Everybody's been going crazy trying to find me, I'll bet. Well, call off the dogs. Here I am. Who are you? Who am I? Only the most important piece of the whole sun machine, that's all. Oh, you're Wing Knight. I guess I am looking for you. Well, I should hope so. Listen, kid, what's your name? I'm Pajama Sam. I'm... Well, I'll tell you what, Sam. Th there's one thing you gotta do for me. What's that? Get me out of here! Jeez, he's a bit rude. So yeah, that's the wing nut, and for the life of me, when I was a kid, I always thought he was just a floating mouse head. He's not. Here's another one. Wing nuts in real life actually look like that. Also, that looks like it's broken. We got a broken rubber band. We need to fix that if we want to get the rain machine back up and running, or at least the bottling machine. Because as you can see, nothing's moving, and that's not the way it should be. These are bottles of rain. 
bottles of rain. You know, the water bottles that you buy at the store, kids, they are made here in Pajama Sam 2. Not really. And full circle, we're back out here. So the, I really like this open world map. There's so many different places to go, and it's all really cool. Like, come on, who wouldn't want to go to that giant wind machine? All of these machines are amazing. Hey, Thunder. Hey, Lightning. What's up? Alright, so one thing we didn't do... Hello again, sir. We didn't go up here at all. And it's definitely time we do that. So, we got some stuff around here. We got a picture of Otto, a picture of the rocks from Pajama Sam 1. The ones we used to get into Darkness's house. <laughs> I'm made of wood! Yes, you are. And we got a chair here. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. I'm you helping... Have an appointment. Appointment? <laughs> Certainly. You can't see anyone without an appointment. Oh. I love all the anthropomorphic furniture in Pajama Sam. It's a really cool art style, and I really like them. I'd like to make an appointment. I'm sorry. You'll have to call for an appointment. Excuse me? Appointments are by telephone only. Oh. What's your number? Can you tell me who it is I'm supposed to call for an appointment? Certainly. You call me. You? <laughs> yes. Okay, what's the number? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. It's confidential. What? This is a terrible system. I don't blame him. Oh, hey, Donut. I don't blame him for it. That was spectacular. What are these magazines? Airline food fancier. <laughs> Cheese substitutes made from plastics. Yuck! What else is there? Rock fancier. Train your pet rock to fetch using cheese. What? <laughs> Dish soap fancier. How to handle that baked on cheese. Can I read that? Because, for the life of me, my pizza pans always get burned cheese on them, and it's incredibly annoying to get off. Well, we got some stuff in this bucket over here, so... Say, I don't think this belongs here. I'd better hang on to it until I can figure out where it goes. Or, you know, turn it into the lost and found. Both are good. Hey, hey! It's the umbrella from How I Met Your Mother! I don't think Tracy will mind if we take this. Maybe she will. Sorry, Tracy, I think your umbrella broke. It's Ted's fault. Ew. Ew! Brussels sprouts! Okay. Pajama Sam, you never lick a lollipop that's not yours. Especially one that's just randomly hanging out in the umbrella rack. Also, green lollipops, and it's Brussels sprout flavor. Disgusting. Let's take one of these. You're looking particularly nice today. Thanks. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, don't mind them. They're complimentary nuts. <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorite jokes, if I'm being perfectly honest. Do you have an appointment, sir? <laughs> no. I can't let you back there without an appointment. What are you going to do? Sit on me? It's funny, because he's a chair. All right, well, it looks like we're going to need to make an appointment if we want to get in there. But that's all the time we have for this episode anyways. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope you tune in next time. We'll be getting into the heart of World Wide Weather and exploring the different machines more in depth. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And God bless.